Welcome to the Street Television Campaign of Western Armenia. Today's broadcast. The regular 18th session of the government of Western Armenia was held. Baku continues to carry out genocide against Armenians, protest in Bonn. Iran has stated again against the change of borders in the region. Talish Memorial, Baku continues to destroy. Speaking up in the presence of the Canadian authorities about Baku's anti-Armenian policy. The documentary film Tezeta by Armenian directors was screened at the National Theatre of Ethiopia. Tennis player Raylin Anavanesan will perform under the flag of Eastern Armenia. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosian, gave an opening speech or reminded of the importance to conduct the session in the Armenian language and translate into appropriate language if necessary. Ms. President spoke about the importance of knowing and implementing the Treaty of Sivers and added, Although we are still a young government and we will need years to achieve the final victory, but we will achieve our final victory step by step with our daily work, said the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosian. Then the session was continued by Mr. Armen Agabrahamian, the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. The President explained and presented the important provisions of the Treaty of Sivar in the most thorough and detailed manner in the stable establishment of the State of Western Armenia. We must be as a power to the implementation of the Treaty of Sivars. We elected the President based on the nation constitution and the President ratified the Treaty of Sivars. It is the State of Western Armenia that recognized and ratified the Treaty of Sivar. Soon we will celebrate the 8th anniversary of the significant event, said Mr. Abrahamian. In his speech, the President of the Nation Council of the Republic of Western Army also referred to the importance of Woodrow Wilson's arbitral award related to the Treaty of Sivers. Speaking about the Treaty of Sivers, Mr. President made comparison with the provisions of the Treaty of Luzon. Mr. Abrahamian reminded as well that on August 10th signed the Treaty of Sivers by the order of the Sultan Turkey, and there are also videos which are important and significant facts that we can use for our benefit and in the establishment of the Republic of Western Armenia. During the session, Nelly Haartunyan, the chairperson of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, also gave a speech and presented the model of the grant application for the implementation of the draft presented by our institution. A number of agenda issues were also discussed during this session. Baku continues to carry out genocide against Armenians, protest in Bonn, and the group of activities held a protest in Bonn city, calling on the government of Baku to immediately release the illegally detained Armenians political prisoners, including Ruben Vartanian. The delegates of the countries participating in the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change gathered in Bonn were also called upon to oppose the, the holding of the Climate Assembly in Baku. The Baku government has announced that the assembly will be dedicated to peace while this is impossible as long as Ruben Vartanian and other Armenian prisoners continue to be held in Baku prison cells. Pretending that it is not the case will mean that Baku continues to carry out genocide against Armenians, noted the participants of the action. They also note that Baku is not limited to atrocities against Armenians, but also carries out illegal actions against its own people. According to a Human Rights Watch report, at least 25 independent journalists and civil activists have been arrested in the past year, and all of them remain in prison. Iran has stated again that they are against the change of borders in the region. The Iranian side has again announced uh, an indemnizability of the so-called Zangezur Corridor, which is demanded by Baku and Ankara. Iran's acting foreign minister stated in an interview with CNN Turk that Tehran supports all initiatives which will help the development of the region, the regulation of relations between Yerevan and Baku, but states that they are against any initiative that can change the border and demographic situation in the region. After the occupation of Baku in 2020, the memorial complex dedicated to the memory of the victims of the Patriotic and Liberation War located in the village of Talish, Martagya region of Artsakh, was destroyed and later destroyed completely. This was recorded by the independent academic platform Monument Watch of the Cultural Heritage of Artsakh. The memorial complex was built in 1968 on the territory of the memorial complex dedicated to the memory of the victims of the Patriotic War. After the liberation of Talish, four freedom warriors were buried on the left side of the memorial wall. Later, with the proposal and financing of the philanthropist Boris Sagatelian, born in Talish, a group of monuments dedicated to the victims of the liberation war was added to the memorial. 
the sculpture of eagles, the memorial wall with pictures of the victim of the liberation war and Hachkars. One year after the four day war in 2017 on both sides of the entrance to the memorial, two cross stone monuments are placed, one dedicated to the victims of the four day war, the other is dedicated to the rebirth of Talich. After the installation of the monument, the memorial complex received the name Revived Talish. Speaking up in the presence of the Canadian authorities about Baku's anti-Armenian policy, the exhortation of the Catholicos of all Armenians gave an exhortation to the 14th Annual Congress of the Diocese of Canada Convent in the Holy Trinity Armenian Church in Toronto. He wants the Canadian authorities to speak about the anti-Armenian policy of Baku, to remind them about the occupied Artsakh, forcibly displayed Armenians, illegally held prisoners and destruction of Armenian culture in Artsakh. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau sent critics and best wishes to the participants of the conference. The documentary film Tezeta by Armenian Direct was screened at the National Theatre of Ethiopia. The feature documentary from the Zeta by directors Sara Mast Kaladjian and Garegin Papoyan in June was screened at the Essential Theater of Ethiopia. Earlier in May, the film was also screened at the Addis International Film Festival as the opening film. It is a story about music which has been a strong bridge between two cultures for years. Kevork Nalbandian, who is the author of the First National Anthem of Ethiopia with 40 Armenian orphans, survived the genocide, arrived in Ethiopia at the invitation of the Ethiopia Imperial Hill, Celestia and later founded the Imperial Brace Band. His cousin, Narses Nalbandian, created modern Ethiopian jazz music based on the music performed by the Imperial Orchestra. Tennis player Elina Avanesian will perform under the flag of Eastern Armenia. Tennis player Elena Avanesian will perform under the flag of Eastern Armenia, but nothing is official yet, said Deputy Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sport, Karen Giloyan. They are waiting for her to receive the citizenship of Eastern Armenia. Elina Avanesian was born in Russia in 2002. Her highest WTA ranking was number 16 in February 2024. She reached the fourth round at the French Open Championship that ended a few days ago. This was all for today. Goodbye.